Kylian Mbappé confirmed that he's going to leave the club. Hey guys, Fabrizio Romano here, updating you as always on the transfer market. And today, guys, we touch on Kylian Mbappé story, entering into some more updates, details, developments of the big saga of the year after Kylian's decision. Let's jump into it together. And so guys, it's important to say that we are entering into really important days, weeks, months for the Kylian Mbappé saga. We know this week Kylian communicated to Paris Saint-Germain, the president, Nasser al -Khalaifi. I spent months here on the channel telling you guys, remember, the first person to know the decision of Kylian Mbappé will be the president, Nasser al -Khalaifi. And he communicated to Nasser and to the club that he was going to leave the club as a free agent at the end of the season. Then the following day, Kylian also communicated to his teammates at Paris Saint-Germain right before the training session that he was going to leave the club. He's been very honest. Let me mention that Kylian Mbappé didn't mention the future club, so he didn't touch on Real Madrid or anything else. But Kylian Mbappé confirmed that he's going to leave the club at the end of the season. From what I'm hearing in both dressing rooms, Real Madrid and Paris Saint-Germain, the feeling is clear. Kylian Mbappé is expected to join Real Madrid finally this summer after a very long saga. But the feeling is really strong between players, but is it really strong also in Real Madrid board? They believe that this time they have all set to make it happen. And this is why already some weeks ago in 2024, early 2024 in January, Real Madrid sent their formal official contract proposal to Kylian Mbappé, to his mother, to his camp, to his lawyers, all the people around Kylian Mbappé, and obviously the player himself, have the contract proposal there, available on the table. Then, now they have to proceed with the signing stage. This is the crucial moment. Let me clarify once again that the salary of Kylian Mbappé will be way lower than the one proposed in summer 2022. It's not the same salary, and also the signing fee is lower than the one proposed in 2022. In that moment, Real Madrid offered a really big amount of money. In this case, it's still a big amount of money, but it's not the same. So this is an important detail to clarify. Let me say that Kylian Mbappé, in the last 24, 48 hours, but also earlier this week, told Nasser al Khelaifi himself that he doesn't want any new proposal from Paris Saint-Germain. Kylian Mbappé considers this story over with PSG. So no new proposal, no new contract, no higher salary, no new signings for him to help him staying at the club. No. Kylian told PSG, don't make any other proposal because I'm leaving. It's decided. Nothing is going to change my mind. So the message has been pretty clear from Kylian Mbappé to Nasser al -Khalifi, And this is why with PSG is over and PSG are already thinking of their plan for the future. So they're not working anymore on the Mbappé contract. Also, important to say one more thing, guys, that Kylian Mbappé and Florentino Perez, Real Madrid president, still share a very good, excellent relationship. Why? From what I'm hearing, Florentino Perez received a direct call from Kylian Mbappé on May 21st, 2022. You remember in that day, it was a Saturday, Kylian Mbappé communicated to Real Madrid that he was going to turn down their proposal and to stay and sign a new contract at Paris Saint-Germain. It was a big shock for the world of football, but also for Real Madrid and for Florentino Perez, who was waiting for Kylian to give the green light. But, really important to say, in that moment, guys, it was Kylian himself to call Florentino. Usually, when there are these kind of situations in football, it's always the agent or the father or the mother or whatever, people from the camp, not the player himself, or maybe intermediaries, many times. This time, Kylian called, summer 2022, Florentino in direct call to tell him, I'm sorry, I feel really sorry for what happened, but I decided to stay at Paris Saint-Germain. Florentino Perez was not happy with the situation, but really appreciated that class act from Kylian Mbappé. In that moment, people close to Florentino Perez started thinking, okay, it's disappointing, okay, it's over for now and for some time, but it's not over at all between Mbappé and Real Madrid for the future years. And now, here we are, with Florentino himself involved in the Bappe saga, involved in the story now, and Florentino making crucial steps to arrive to the signing stage and to complete this saga with Kylian Mbappé. So, Florentino is a crucial part of the story, but also the relationship between Florentino and Mbappé is a crucial one. And then, guys, I think the messages coming from all sides of the story are very clear. Also, the French teammate of Kylian Mbappé, 
Ibrahima Konate asked about the possibility to join him at Liverpool, said, I think we all know where Kylian is going. And this is the feeling of the entire industry, not just of one player. Kylian Mbappé and Real Madrid, we are entering in the final stages. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on this Mbappé cup. I wait for your opinion. Hit in the comments, remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon, with Fabrizio. Ciao.